just like, dang, I'm basically uh, driving on coilovers. This is y'all, you did what I'm saying, and welcome back to again another episode of J.I. Productions. As y'all can hear, Mama's warming up right now. Um, you guys see the title, you see the thumbnail, and today's video, bro, we're gonna be calling airlift to see what the hell is going on, because I just don't understand, bro. I don't understand. Literally, two days ago, right, me and Money, um, I had went over to Money's shop, I forgot what we were doing, I think we were just kicking, bro. And I was like, let me check this airline, since we recently just fixed it. You guys haven't seen that video. There's multiple videos, but I'll go ahead and put a card up for the most recent one. Y'all go tap in, go check it out. Um, but yeah, man, so we went over there to go ahead and get that done, get that taken care of, right? Um, and so we did it. And then two days ago, I went over there and we was kicking it. I was like, let me just check this drug. Since we just fixed it, I was supposed to go on a cruise, which was yesterday. You got to see that video. I just wanted to make sure everything was in line. I got the oil change down there. So, go check the bag, right? And of course, the bag is completely spinning and then wrapped around and then coil over again. And I'm just like, what the hell? So, this time, me and Money, like, I was like, I'm not gonna film this. It's too repetitive. Me and Money go ahead and take a flathead and a matter. I'm talking about legit. Put it on the spoke and start hammering that bitch to the left to tighten down the collar, right? Still, still, still having that fucking issue, bro. So yesterday we got back from the cruise and literally when we got, when we were at the space in Galveston, right? I was like, after the cruise, everybody was about to leave. I was like, let me check my bag real quick before I pull up to make sure that everything's straight. So me and Les, we looked down, we checked the bag. Everything's cool, kosher. The bag didn't move, nothing, right? No. Finally, get to Lester's house after cruising back from Galveston. And I see that. The airline was right here. Now it's over here. Why? Because the bag didn't spin. But this is the killing part. The bag turned on its own, right? I just tried to go back in there and turn it back to where it's supposed to be because the airline hasn't started wrapping around the bag yet. I just went back in there trying to turn it back to where it's supposed to be and of course it doesn't want to spin. It just doesn't make sense to me. The collar is completely locked, bro. Completely locked as far as it can go without snapping it or bending a, a thread or anything like that. But yet, this joint is still fried, bro. Ugh. So, I'm, I'm done. I done gave up, you feel me? I don't know what else possibly better to do other than go ahead and give airlift sorry y'all that's car lock man other than go ahead and give airlift to call themselves bro tap in with them and see if it's something that i need to order or what the case may be because at this point it's beyond frustrating um that i'm dealing with this you know what i mean consistently and i paid all this money for their product so it's just like i don't know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and roll that intro. We're gonna get straight into this video, man. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you dig? pick up the camera as soon as they answer the phone. I'm not gonna make y'all sit through this with me. Uh, so I'll see y'all in a couple minutes. 
All right, y'all, just got an update. We are now number one um, on the wait list, so they should be answering the phone here soon. I'm legit just going to ask him a couple questions, man, because I just want to know if it's something that I need to order, something that needs to be warranty, what the case may be, because I'm just, I'm tired of dealing with it. And I'm just going to do it for both both sides, because even though that side hasn't been giving me any issues recently, it still did um, previously. So I just want to, you know what I mean, cover both of my bases. If it means we have to warranty both of the struts or both of the bags, cool, kosher, calm, connected, whatever. Send out the new joints. I'll send y'all these hoes back. Man, come on, let's just... I'm just trying to get, I mean, I'm just trying to get the stuff situated and I'm trying to dinner with it. Airlift, this is Tom. Hey Tom, how you doing? My name is J.I. Um, I am calling with a couple of quick questions for you, man. I'm having some issues with my uh, 3P setup on my 2015 Camaro SS. Okay, what's going on with that? Alright, my man. So, I've been having this issue where it's like the bag is spinning on its own. Um, you know how on the strut for the bat, um, for the... For the Camaros, there's the bag at the top. I have the double be uh, bellow bags. Um, I don't know if I, I just need to throw that in there as well. Um, so there's the bag at the top and then there's the locking collar at the very bottom of the, um, you know, of the teeth, the threads for the bag to spin through, you know, so you can adjust the height. So that locking collar is literally like, you know, tightened all the way down, locked in position, but the bag still spins. And so what I'm having happen is the bag will continue to spin until the airline wraps completely around the strut till it can't do it anymore. And it's either A, it just recently ripped my braided line, or B, it rips the actual like rubber airline that goes back to the management. So I don't know if it's like something I need to get warranted or what the case may be, but it's just, I don't know. Like I, I've been, and I have to go back in and, you know, readjust it, put it back to where it's supposed to be, tighten down that lock collar again. And it's just like, dang, I'm basically uh, driving on coilovers. <laughs> Okay, for sure. Now, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That'll, no, I didn't interrupt you. Man. That'll allow you to actually get get some behind it and get that tightened down. Once you get that all the way tightened back down, it should stop spinning. Okay, for sure. Now, whenever I get that um the tool that you were talking about, I'm sorry. Could you say that one more time for me? Yeah, it's a strap wrench. Okay, so the strap wrench. Whenever I get the strap wrench, right? Where exactly am I putting it on? Am I just like because there's you know, like there's only I only have one lock collar. Is that supposed? It's only supposed yep. to have one, right? It is. It's going to be one locking collar, which is securing the actual lower mount. The bag itself bottoms out on the shock. So, like with a coil over where you have that spring preload adjustment. Yeah. That's not something you have on these. So, with the uh, the bag, you know, it's got the metal grip ring at the top and the bottom. Yeah. You'll put the strap around the lower grip ring. And I'll just spin that. Yep, yep, so basically what it is, is um, they ever used like a oil filter wrench, the kind that kind of wrap around and then you get yeah. to twist it off? Yeah. Yeah, so it's the same kind of concept as how it works, but instead of it being a solid ring that you loop around the oil filter, it's a strap, so you can put the strap around the bag and then feed it through. Mm. Um, and that'll, I mean, I personally have only ever...
ever gotten a bag off one strut by hand, and I've done quite a few changes. So I pretty much always are going to need a, a strap wrench to get that tighter. So more than likely, it's just kind of wiggled loose, and then just was never locked down enough to fix mm, it. Okay, okay, for sure. See, now I'm thinking, oh, like, I'm thinking the worst, my man. I'm going to be honest with you. I was thinking, dang, I need to replace the bag. I got to replace the, the strut or the top hat or, you know, something, like, to get, you know, everything tightened down. Oh, man. Okay, cool. So then, um, final question. Now, sometimes the, um, that lock ring does come, the, I'm sorry, the, the lock ring, it does come loose, like I was saying. So, is that, that's just in correlation to the bag, that little, um, thing that you were talking about needed to be tightened down? Yeah, more than likely it's all going to be caused by the same issue. I would, uh, use some red Loctite on both the locking collar and the air spring. Okay. Uh, that should help prevent them coming loose. And then when you're putting the locking collar on, yeah. Um, are you just using the uh, uh, spanner wrench that comes with it, or are you using something different? Yeah, so I was using the spanner wrench, right? And then I'm not even going to lie to you, man. I was actually going to ask, that wasn't going to be my next question. My spanner wrench is like, the teeth on it are kind of like getting filed down on it. So I had to use like a flathead and a mallet to try to tighten down. You know what I mean? Because it's like the teeth yeah, on the spanner yeah. wrench don't grab it anymore. No, that's perfect. That's exactly what I was going to recommend. Uh, I mean, one thing that would be better than a screwdriver would be uh, like a foot punch. So instead of it having a handle on it, it's just a solid piece of metal. Um, the only thing is if you hit a screwdriver too hard, you could potentially blow the handle apart. Um, so, I mean, it's not like you can't use it. Definitely would never say you can't, but it's just not the most recommended. Okay. Okay. For sure. For sure. Okay. All right, my man. Well, I really appreciate you. This call has been hella informational. Um, I mean, informative. I, I was really worried, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No worries at all. If you need anything else, call us back. All right, for sure, man. You take it easy. Do yep. we lit. We are lit. You feel me? No more needs to worry. So, I don't know 100% if you guys heard everything. But basically, all I got to do is go get this little tool um, to tighten down the bottom end of the bag. And then he was like, take some red Loctite and throw that um, underneath the bag and on the locking collar itself as well. Nothing needs to be nothing needs to be replaced at all. There's nothing wrong with the bags. Thank God I just got to tighten that down. So you guys will see that next video, man. But without further ado, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Tap in. Make sure you get your merch. Tap in with my other channels, you dig? All the links are in the description down below. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.